hey guys hope everybody is having a good day um this is a video response for sybil b she is doing a two die for die challenge um she wants you to share with her how you store your dies and what your favorite dies are so i thought i would do this um real quick this morning before i head into work and my storage i guess is kind of very simple because I just got in, well, I, I've been into dyes for a while, but it's only been maybe like a year or so. Um, I don't have, but maybe two of like the Sizzix Biggs dyes. I think I might have like one or two of the Sizzlets, and I keep those in a drawer um, in my crafting space with some like 12 by 12 papers and some other things. Um, I, honestly, I don't use them a whole lot, but I think it's just because of what they are. Um, they're really specific, like they're for holidays, so I'm not going to obviously use like a Christmas dye or something all year round. Um, but what I do use most often are the thin metal wafer dyes, and I find that I buy those and use those a lot more, so that's why I thought that I would come up with this system. Um, and what this is, is it is a We Are Memory Keepers um, six by six album. I just put dies right here on the end. I have it. It stands up like this um, on my bookshelf. And what I did was I took a smash book. This is a smash book rubber band that holds your smash book together. Um, I had some extras I picked up at Target on clearance. And the reason why I have that on there is because sometimes the weight of this, depending on how many you have inside here, if you pick it up, they tend to, like it doesn't really a whole lot, but the rubber band keeps it in there so that it takes the stress off of your binder rings if you pick it up like this and you know it just keeps everything together um so inside of here is how i store my metal dies like my spell binders and all of my other metal dies um i have the six by six refill pages that are the we are memory keepers um I like them the best. I have tried two other brands. Honestly, I don't remember what the brands are. And I can tell you that the We Are ones are a lot thicker. So that whenever you do this, what normally would cut your paper doesn't affect the plastic because it's a lot thicker. I had had a thinner one in here and um, one of my dies actually kind of pierced through it a little bit, but the, the plastic on it was really, really thin. Um, so how I have it arranged is by manufacturer. I haven't put tabs on it or anything because I find that I'm buying more because I'm using more now. So I haven't really labeled anything and done that. Um, I do plan on labeling these. I've only been using this system since like Christmas time. And I didn't label anything because I didn't want to ruin the pages if I wasn't going to use it but I love the system I'm going to keep the system so now I'm going to go back through and pull my labor maker out and just um, label by each one of these you'll see as we go there's multiples um, on what the manufacturer and what the name of the die is so what I did six by six um, insert sheet and inside of the six by six is should have moved my stuff I guess is this and this is a sheet of magnet and as you can see it's not going anywhere that's one of the reasons why I chose not to do the art box or the art bin because they slid off the pages constantly the pages were curving and it really ticked me off because I shouldn't pay that much for something and it fall off so I found this just uh, somebody had see I should honest to god somebody I saw on YouTube had used very large sheets of this and what it is is magnetic vent covers that are used for register vents she had the really big sheets and now I'm kicking myself in the butt because I can't remember who I saw it from but I know it was from one of my subscribers um, I'll try to find it and if I do or if it's you let me know and I'll link it so I can link her video because she uses them bigger um, I don't know if she uses a binder system, but she uses them bigger, and it's pretty cool, too. Um, so I use those, and I cut those down. Each package of these came with three of them, and they're 8x15. For me, to fit a 6x6, six six, I got two whole 
sheets like this out of it. So that would have been one and two. And then the pieces that were left over after all three in the pack have been cut down actually fit together if you tape them on the back and we'll make a few more sheets. I can't remember how many sheets total though I've got out of the whole package. If I had to guess, I would probably say um, maybe like nine or ten of these. And those packages were, I want to say $4.99 at Lowe's. I know it was like right around $5. So I got about nine or ten sheets of this out of them so um this here is my spell binders these are my circles except for i want to say the outside four rings the outside four rings are from the circles grand um one two three four five six seven maybe yeah, that might be right. Seven or eight are from the regular nesting circles. And then the outside three or four are from the grand. They fit through my cuddle bug. Um, so I put them all on here that I could use. And then I put the other ones away. But in each one of these, I put two front and back. And then, um, whoops, let's try that again. Like that. Some of the ones on the back like this, I did duct tape them together. But on so most of them, I used them on my spellbinders dies so they kind of just hold themselves together honestly it's not a pain in the butt i've never had a problem with them shifting it um and when the pages are together like this they have um some stick to them so it holds each other together which is kind of nice so in the front of the binder i keep all of my spellbinders together and then as you go back see here's the one i duct taped um, and then I, as I go, it changes different manufacturers. So these are my lawn fawns. These are two different lawn fawn sets. Um, these are pa my paper smooches. The trees, the leaves, the hearts. I love this heart one. This is probably one of my most favorite dyes ever. Um, I can't remember the name of it now. See, this is why I'm going to go back in and label them. Um, this is a paper smooches dye. Tiny Tags, I think, is might be, might be what it's called. I find that I use, like, this little notebook-looking tag, this tab. I use this one a lot. I really love this die a lot. And then it has some reinforcers on there for tags and whatnot. So I love that one. I also love this one. This is the alphabet from Paper Smooches. I love it. I love it. I love it. And then I have my seasonal ones together, which I'll probably shift back up by... Um, my spell binders because these are all spell binders themselves even though they're holiday ones these ones and these ones and these ones here I I don't know if it's me or if I need to use wax paper but every time I use them I have a hard time pulling them out or it rips my project and it really makes me mad um, these ones here are my CC designs dies this is another die that is my absolute favorite this is the Four Seasons Fence from CC Designs. I use it constantly on any project that I ever use a fence. Nine times out of ten, it's that die. Um, these are all CC Designs here. I like this one, too, for Christmas. This is probably a favorite for Christmas. These are uh, Paper Tray Ink dies. The Clouds are my favorite from Paper Tray Ink. Um, I love Paper Tray Ink dies, period. I just have a really hard time with their shipping. I probably would own a lot more of their dyes if it wasn't for their shipping. I mean, they only charge like three and four dollars, or maybe even five dollars for a die set, but then they want to charge you a flat eight dollar fee for shipping, and I have a problem with that. So, um, those are all my paper tray ink. I really love these tags. I like to have them. I probably should get rid of them because I don't know what to use them for. They're so little, it's hard to find anything that fits inside of them. But they were really cute banners, and I had to have them, so I don't know. Maybe I'll try to come up with a way. Um, these are those Spellbinder ones. Um, oh, boy. Not the Vintage, but... I don't know. I can't remember now. You girls know. These are Diamond Dyes Butterflies. And 
These are butterflies that you cut on folded paper so that it actually opens up and looks like a folded butterfly. The name of that company, I can't think off the top of my head, but I can tell you that it is the same company. The second place one that Sybil is giving away, the, um, uh, the Vine, it's that same brand. And I cannot remember the name of it, but I know whenever I saw her show that, I'm like, oh, that's a really good dye because I used these ones and I know how good they are. Um, these are some Hero Arts dies, and these are CC Designs dies again. And then these are um, my Quick Cuts. I only have a few of them, although I have to say this Polaroid Quick Cuts is probably another one of my favorites. And then this layers together to make flowers, and then these, this is a tag, and this is a, um, just like a little label. But that's it. That's all the dies that I own. I do find that I use a lot of them, but there are some that I really don't use a whole lot. But I really do like this system. It's working very well for me, and I think it works very well because, like I said, I mostly I mostly have the thin metal wafer dies. I don't have a lot of the Sizzix dies, and I think that's just because the few that I have are seasonal. I think the one I have isn't, and I think it's... Um, like a bumblebee. Oh, and then I have a flip-flop one, too. But those are things that you can only, I think, use certain times of the year, maybe. So I don't pull those out as often. But that's it. This is my die storage. If you have any questions, um, let me know. I'll be happy to help you as much as I can. Um, I like it a lot. It works really great for me. So if you, if you would like to do one and you want me to give you all the info on how I used it as far as the pages size that I cut, the refills, the binder, and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, just message me and I'll forward you the info. Thanks, everybody, and have a good day.